Step one in the mechanism is the protonation of the oxygen. CH3, COH, two lone pairs, CH3, that's 2-methyl, two, 2-propanol. Two H2SO4 is a strong acid. Yeah, one of the two lone pairs on the oxygen grabs an H off of H2SO4. And this is what it becomes. CH3, C, CH3, CH3. And now you have two H's attached to the oxygen. You still have that lone pair. And now you have a positive charge on the oxygen. And the H2SO4 becomes the conjugate base, which is hydrogen sulfate. So this is step one. Step one. So this is the E1 mechanism, step two. In the E1 mechanism, this is what happens to the intermediate. Uh, the product in step one is this, CH3, CH3, CH3 down, then O, H, H, lone pair, you have a positive charge. What happens is that there, oxygen is the second most electronegative element, so it it's very unhappy. So what happens is that bond goes to the oxygen as a second lone pair. And what happens is a CH3, C, CH3, CH3, H2O has left the molecule. So now you have a positive charge on that middle carbon. And H2O was produced in the process. Okay, and step three, and this here is the slow step. Notice that the slow step only involves one thing. It's the, it's the protonated 2-methyl-2-propanol. That takes us to step three. So we have the positively charged species. What I am going to do is I am going to spell out the, all of the H's on that right carbon. So we have one, two, three H's. Yeah, we produced an H2O molecule in the second step, and the H2O molecule enters the picture as well. Yeah, so we have a positive charge on the carbon. One of the two lone pairs on the oxygen grabs that H, and that there bond goes between the two carbons, and now you have a double bond between the middle carbon and the carbon on the right, CH3. And the H2O becomes H3O with a lone pair and a positive charge. And that is how we form the alkene. So, the, so this here is H3O and H3O Remember that in the first step, we produced HSO4 minus. So it's an equilibrium process. The H3O plus and the HSO4 minus, they form H2O and H2SO4. So in step one, we used up the H2SO4, but at the very end, we uh, regenerated H2SO4. So we say that H2SO4 is a, is a catalyst.